Hey guys, so what you just saw was, um, well, it should have been a time lapse. So this is a clock I've been working on for a little bit, going to first person here. So what it'll do is it'll tell the time, and then when it's day, it'll reset. So, yeah, uh, yeah, so that was a awkward pause. But as you can see, it's uh, pretty thin. It's only uh, four blocks wide if you include the face. And then it comes out only one uh, from like the border. So you can actually have it like a watch or a clock tower, which I did do a time lapse. You can check uh, for a link in the description down below. Also, um, I guess I like to just double check. Let me grab a bed real quick. Set it to midnight. Uh, nope, I forgot the for uh, forward slash. It said uh, midnight. And so now. There we go. And so now I have some midnight. If we go to sleep, then when we wake up, it should automatically reset back to its position. Let's see it work. And there we go. So you see it resets back to morning. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. Uh, we're going to be building one of these clocks. Everything you need is going to be what you see in my inventory. So observer, daylight sensor, sticky piston, hopper, comparator, obsidian. I prefer crown obsidian because they just added it to the game. Uh, concrete, this is basically a decoration block. So it can be anything of your choice to make your build look how you want it to. Block of redstone, redstone dust, uh, regular piston, redstone lamp, uh, glass, any color, it doesn't matter, redstone repeater, redstone torch, and this button is definitely not needed. So in place of that, for now, I will actually grab the sticky piston, because we're going to need that sooner than we need most of the other materials. Coming over here, you're going to want to make sure you dedicate a 7 wide space, or well, a 7 wide by uh, 8 tall. So that means that this build is going to be 7 wide and 8 tall. And if you want the depth, it's going to be 4. The redstone is actually fairly slim. If you look at the back, it only takes up um, 3 behind the first block. But getting into actual actually building, you're going to want to basically make a square of blocks. Um, well, square of redstone lamp blocks. So going across 5 like this, going up 5 like this. You can put a decoration block here. Redstone lamps, another five. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Block, block, and fill in the rest with redstone lamps. I like to put the decoration box all around this because it does help us while building because it gives us a place to actually play. It gives us a spot to actually put blocks on. Next, you're gonna wanna take your Pistons uh, on the top right hand corner, put one facing inwards. On the top left hand corner, put one facing downwards. And on the bottom left hand corner, one facing inwards. And then on the bottom right co hand corner, one facing upwards. Now grabbing your glass, you're going to put a piece of glass on top of this piston. Then wherever you see the redstone lamps, you're going to want to put glass. If you want to for now, you could skip this one because we don't need it just yet. Grabbing your redstone block, you're going to want to put it in that space that we skipped just before. Hmm. Next is coming down here, and we're going to want our sticky piston facing inwards, basically one from the bottom right hand block. Uh, we can grab the observer, have it facing downwards from that sticky piston, and then a block right under here. What that's going to do is, when the redstone block is here, it's going to power this on, and then when it moves over here, it's going to send another signal through here forcing it to go up one more. Now you're gonna want a repeater over here, so coming from this block, on four tick delay, another block here, and then another block here. That's just a temporary block, so we can actually put another sticky piston on top of it. Next, you're gonna put a redstone dust here. On top of that sticky piston, you can add some temporary blocks. There, uh, From there, you can take a piston, it could be sticky, or it could be whatever uh, piston of your choice. And you're going to want a, if I can remember, obsidian. Going like that. 
from there you could put a redstone block on top of that sticky to keep piston uh, you're gonna want to basically put a temporary block I recommend not using obsidian since it is hard to break and then you're gonna want a sticky piston facing inwards from there into an obsidian block so once you're done this is what it should look like you're gonna put a redstone torch on top of each of them and then on top of that you're gonna want to go back to your decoration block and put one on uh, nope, mistake, but one on top of the last piston. Next, you're going to want a redstone dust on top of there. Sticky piston over here, so right coming right out of the uh, redstone dust. Skipping two spaces, you're going to want another redstone repeat, uh, not redstone repeater, a sticky piston uh, facing inwards. Redstone dust on top of both of these. This is going to be going into a block, so let me make sure I have this correct in front of this base. So you're going to want um, decoration blocks like this. You want to make sure that you leave this one empty. Then you're going to have a block, basically one up, as if you were making like an arrow. From there, you're going to want to put a repeater into that block. Redstone dust next to the block. Coming down, you're going to want to skip one space and then put a sticky piston facing downwards. Redstone dust on top of that sticky piston. Redstone block, temporary block, repeater, redstone block, brick temporary block. I keep on calling the sticky pistons repeaters. I meant sticky piston, so both of these are gonna be facing downwards. So now we have our feeder chain uh, working, and if you want, what you can do is uh, you could test it really quickly. Yep, it moved it over one, and this one should have a block here. Now it did turn nighttime, and so hopefully we can get this done within like the next eight minutes. I can show you guys this resetting quickly. Next, you're gonna want a regular piston facing downwards from this center sticky piston. On that, you're gonna want a regular block. Uh, that regular block, I actually don't want it to be up there right now, so you're gonna want a regular block space between this regular piston. One block coming outwards. A uh, repeater on two tip delay. From there, into a block, into a redstone torch. Two blocks over here, block upwards, and a block behind here. Redstone dust in this corner, redstone dust over here, and a redstone repeater on four tip delay into this block over here. Next, coming over here, we're going to want to grab a sticky piston. Place one facing downwards and right next to this obsidian. Redstone dust over here. Observer down here. I prefer a uh, redstone lamp for this um, particular part. Now, crouch place, and you should be able to put a redstone uh, lamp on top of there and redstone dust on top of it. So now when this gets powered, it'll power on this lamp, sending a signal over here also. Next, we're going to have our daylight resetter, essentially. So, I'm actually going to need my decoration block for this. You're going to want to place two blocks under here, destroy that block. A regular piston facing upwards. A regular um, decoration block on top of that observer. Uh, what's next? Yes. A block over here up diagonally. An observer facing downwards on right next to this piston. On the same level, place a temporary block and then a sticky piston facing into the observer. Grabbing your daylight sensor, no, that's a lamp. Grabbing your daylight sensor, you're gonna want to put it on top of the sticky piston. Uh, before I forget, you're gonna want a redstone dust right here, and so that's gonna power this block, sending this upwards when it is daytime. So now we're almost done. Uh, what you should have should look like this. We're gonna wanna come over here to this bottom left-hand corner. Essentially go down two and then over one, destroy your temporary blocks. And then go down one, over one, destroy your temporary block. And then come over all the way to your redstone lamp. So you're not gonna need your redstone repeaters anymore. You're gonna want your comparator. You don't need a button. You're gonna want your sticky pistons and your hopper. So you're gonna want your comparator going into this block. Skip two, put a comparator facing outwards. Put a block in front of that comparator, redstone dust on top of this block and this block. 
taking your hopper, have them facing into each other, or should I say the, the tail facing into each other, just like this. If you so choose, put a redstone block now. You didn't need to right away, but it helps. You're gonna want a, actually if I can figure this out, you're gonna want a st uh, sticky piston facing inwards, and then another sticky piston facing inwards. You're gonna want your crying obsidian or obsidian, whatever you have. You're gonna wanna put it on top of that redstone block. Now, on top of this outer uh, sticky piston, you're gonna want another sticky piston facing outwards. You're gonna want a, any type of piston facing inwards. On top of that, you're gonna want a redstone torch. From there, you're gonna want redstone dust. Grabbing your observer, you're going to want it facing inwards towards this block. And then in here, you're gonna to wanna to put 75, well, 70 to 75 of whatever block you want. So for now, I'm gonna choose dirt. And so I'll throw in 64, and then another 11. Oh, that was one too much. The clock would be a little slow if we did that. So 70 will have it be quicker, and I prefer that just to make sure it lines up with the day because depending if you sleep it might like this might still have some stuff in it so it's not going to be exact so 70 will make it run faster and then it just makes it a little bit better in my opinion now coming over here we are completed uh making sure everything works it is shifting and this should turn on yep and then it shifted over one